hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel once again my name is ronald if you're new here well you might want to like share subscribe so you never miss a bite well today i just want to run you through guys something very simple something very quick and that's going to be a nice fish what kind of fish and that's going to be uh, the rainbow trout well i know salmon and trout they kind of look alike but you know what if you know your differences in terms of fish it is actually different so in that case right now uh what we're going to do actually is start off by marinating it and then do a little side for us in this case we're going to do the push away i hope you guys are ready because it's time to get started all right All right, so as I said, these were frozen guys. So first things first, um, uh, make sure they are under running water um, uh, or pull them ahead of time. But also it took me just a few minutes to run them under water to actually throw them out. Don't have to do too much with them because they do have the skin on, which is great. Uh, that's definitely going to give you a better product. So now we're gonna put them onto the pan. And then next what we're going to do is basically give them some love. By that I mean, all the nice seasonings so yeah you don't really have to buy it fresh because we all know at the end of the day buying something fresh is always expensive but you can use something frozen and uh, give it that nurture and care it needs to actually have a good dish out of it so there you go now remember really in type of fish really you don't really have to do too much to it you never want to overwhelm it so a little bit of uh, oil um, on top of it, in this case, we have some olive oil. I like to smother it completely like that. Make sure it's nice and covered because you're going to sear it and it will take a very short time to cook. So in this case, since it's all wrapped up like that, and I'm also going to use a bit of butter. In this case, I'll be using margarine because it's what I have. You all know my rules here by now. I do use whatever I have. I don't have to buy the specific something for uh, a one dish. So what I typically like to do is to marinate things ahead of time. So right now we're going to marinate this and then thereafter we're going to work on um, our potatoes because we're going to have potato wedges with this. So just that is just salt and pepper right now as you guys can clearly see. And I'm going to use that spice you see right there, stash. It's, you know, it uh, has all the nice ingredients in there because if you don't have like say the fresh, fresh everything, you have some lemon in there, garlic, you know, the, all the lovely stuff you basically need to have on here. It'll keep it nice and fresh. So there we go. Just like that. And this is going to keep digging in to be nice and marinated. I do have a bit of uh, rosemary, so I want a few on there like that. If it's a fresh one, of course, way, way better. So basically that's it. Now let's just give it a time to marinate that slowly like that. And then I'm just gonna put this in the fridge right now and now work on our uh, potato wedges. Well, I happen to have some butter, so I'm actually going to use butter. So this is going to be kind of buttery for sure. So in we go. Our topping sauce is going to be kind of a lemon buttery sauce. Okay. You're going to put on your, your fish like that. You start to get that sizzle going on right there. Now at this point, please, please, please stop moving them. Just let it cook uh, in its own juices like that. And also on the other hand, do not flip it. We're just going to leave it like that, uh, side down like that with the skin on the other side. And eventually the skin will let go of the pan by itself. 
Okay, this is what I was talking about. It's gonna be kind of lemon barley. So I'll add a bit more butter like that. And then I'm going to transfer it from here right into the oven. This is what I was meaning, because if you look right here, the skin is letting go by itself. And you start to get the crispness on at the back of it. So that's good right there. Because as you can see, it's cooking real, real fast. So when I'm moving back and forth to make sure it's actually getting off, it's moving back and forth to get off the what? There you go. Now in the oven we go to finish it off. All right. And you can do this exact thing I'm doing right now with any other fish, okay? So let's put that in the oven and give it some time. All right, so basically what's happening here, as you guys can see, I already have these potatoes going here. I just wanna flip them around because I do want to get the crisp on both sides. But the biscuit done right now, I just wanna flip them up a little bit, just like that. Put them back for a little bit. Okay, so I took it in the oven quickly for a minute. So it's better, you see, you put the butter over it like that. Just pour it over it like this. Okay, you can see it's moving back and forth. And uh, it so happens it's bigger, these are smaller, so the smaller ones are completely done already. You just wanna pour the butter just over them like that. Okay, back in the oven. As we get started, by the way, I also do a word of the day here. So today the word of the day is going to be fish. If you've seen my previous videos of a fish, I'm going to link those for you guys. So fish in my language, we say chanyanja. Chanyanja is fish. That's any type of fish, really. It doesn't specify in this case whether it's rainbow trout, uh, you know, tilapia, or salmon, or cod. You know, whether it's hard duck, it doesn't matter. It's just straight up fish. All right. So our fish should be done now. Woo! All right. Look at that. That's a beauty. And by the way, the way you know that your fish is done, do you see that white coming out like that? That means your fish is definitely done. So here we go. Gently, as I wanted to show you guys, if you see the back of it, I don't know if you guys see it actually, I won't be able to see probably, but it's all coming off easily. From there, you have your nice fish right there. This is gonna be nice and buttery. A bit of that butter. Going into it like that. I'm gonna finish it up with our potatoes. I know, right? Look at that. That looks good too, eh? Some nice potato wedges, or whatever you prefer. Even if it's uh, a nice rice pilaf, that'd be great too. Nice simple garnish. Look at that right there. Nice and flaky nice and juicy. If you're looking for it there, let's, let's ask Auntie Cindy. What do you think, Auntie Cindy? All right, so Auntie Cindy signed off, but it's good. You guys try it. Well, what did you guys think? I know, that was amazing, right? I'm telling you, it's very simple, very quick, ever so less in terms of cooking, little goes a long way here. So if you ever do it, it may end up to be a bit too dry. So you want it to be nice and juicy. I know, look at that. I know what I'm talking about. All right, I also do DIYs here. And by the way, my wife also has a YouTube channel. It's called Respect is Growing. Check it out. She took a break because, you know, she's kind of taking our babies right now, but she'll be right back. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. I appreciate you. Thanks. Bye now.